जय हिंद टू ऑल ऑफ यू माय नेम इज विशाल जयसवाल आई एम आई एम इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद हियर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर्मेट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इंस्ट्रक्शन इंस्ट्रक्शन कैन बी कंसिडर्ड एज अ वर्ड इन प्रोसेसर लैंग्वेज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द इंस्ट्रक्शन इन इंस्ट्रक्शन देर इज अपकोड देर इज अपकोड that that define the operation to be performed and there is a address of operand 1 there is a address of operand 2 this is the destination address and address of the next instruction basically address of the next instruction is stored in program counter register and if we talk about the let's say the example c equal to a plus b here the address of operand 1 is a address of operand b is Operand two is B, and destination our our destination is C, and the operation code is that is addition add add operation. Problem in no, long instructions. The instruction is too long if everything is specified explicitly. That is more space in memory and longer execution time. if we talk about the instruction set architecture instruction set is the structure of computer that machine language programmer oblique or compiler understand to write a correct program for the for that instruction kinds of instruction if we talk about the kinds kinds of instruction we have a logical arithmetic instructions next is data transfer instruction in data transfer instruction there is a two data transfer instruction are used that is load and store and we also use data transfer instruction that is move and another is control transfer instruction in control transfer instruction if we do not interested in sequential execution of a instruction then we use jump or conditional branching function call return etc that is called the control transfer instruction if we talk about the data transfer instruction then here there is a processor this is the processor in which this is the processor in which these are the registers these are the registers and this is the main memory if we talk about the store data transfer instruction if we transfer the data from <coughs> from memory to uh, memory to processor then we call the load and if we transfer the data from processor to memory that is called store so we we should know that processor to memory data transfer is called store and memory to processor data transfer is called load these load store instructions are used in single accumulator organization we also have a move instruction that are used in general purpose register organization we will discuss later if we talk about the classification of architecture here major classifications are stack architecture this is the stack architecture where operands are implicitly on top of the stack in a stack architecture we don't don't need to define any uh, address of the operand basically in a stack the operations is performed on the top two element of the stack so next is accumulator architecture in accumulator architecture one operand is in the accumulator and the other are elsewhere what do you mean by elsewhere elsewhere means the uh, memory basically elsewhere means memory address and this is the one register machine and it is found in older machine basically single accumulator based architecture also called load store architecture and in which our first operand is always stored in uh, accumulator that is accumulator register and other operand that is second operand is stored in memory address 
नेक्स्ट इज जनरल पर्पज रजिस्टर्स हियर ऑपरेंट्स आर इन रजिस्टर और इन स्पेसिफाइड मेमोरी लोकेशन बेसिकली इन जनरल पर्पज रजिस्टर वी हैव द ऑप्शन फॉर द ऑपरेंट्स टू बी स्टोर्ड आइदर इन रजिस्टर्स और मेमोरी लोकेशन इवोल्यूशन ऑफ आई एस इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट आर्किटेक्चर फर्स्ट वी हैव सिंगल एक्मुलेटर दैट इज इन 1953 that is uh, manchester mark i ibm 700 series this is the single accumulator architecture and ed sac and ibm 701 these are the single accumulator based computers in 1953 this the years is 1953 if we talk about the general purpose registers uh, computer these are the two architecture for general purpose that is complex instruction set computer and uh, second is reduced instruction set computer and if we talk about the complex instruction set computer wax and intel 386 that is 1977 to 1985 these are the wax and intel 36 386 computers that are called complex instruction set computer and if we talk about the reduced instruction set computer then mips and ibm rs 6000 in 1987 uh, the these computers are used and next is stack based computer that is sp 3000 in 1960 to 70 1960 the stack based computer are used and they produced by the hp if we talk about the general purpose registers uh, general purpose register architecture register memory <coughs> are used and register register basically these two scenario are used in general purpose uh, architecture register memory and register register and we if we talk about the register register these are also called the load store comparison of architecture if we talk about the uh, uh, comparison of architecture we have three uh, architecture of computers first is stack based then second is accumulator and third is register set and if we talk about the source operand where to source operand is found in a stack there is a top two elements in a stack are uh, are the operands and if we talk about the destination destination also the top of the stack is the destination in accumulator architecture first operand is stored in accumulator and second operand is stored in memory location and the accumulator is a destination in case of single accumulator organization and in register set the source operand should uh, may be in registers or memory and destination may be registers or memory here we can option for storing the operands either uh, registers or in memory <coughs> comparison of architectures basically here we have a uh, different different architecture like stack accumulator register memory and register register and we have a uh, one example like uh, c equal to a plus b if we if we have a instruction c equal to a plus b or we have to perform c equal to a plus b then in stack how can we perform the c equal to a plus b first we have to uh, push the operand a in the stack next is push the operand b in the stack then we have to add the a plus b means op add the operands then pop c means we have to store the result a plus b into c if we talk about the accumulator first we have to load a load a what do you mean by load a load a means we have to we have uh, only one uh, register that is called accumulator in accumulator m of a is loaded load a means m of a is loaded into accumulator means a is loaded into accumulator then add b what do you mean by add b add b means in ac we have to ac plus m of b we have to perform this 
and when we use store C, what do you mean by store C? Store C means we have to write this code M of C. In M of C, we have to store AC. The content of AC that is uh, A plus B is stored in memory location M of C. Then in case of register memory, how to write in register memory uh, this operation? We have to load load R one A means we have first we have we have to take R one register and we have load M of A into R one. Then add R one B means we have uh, A already in R one. Then R one in R1, we have to add R1 plus M of B. Means this perform the A plus B because R1 A is already in R1 uh, by the <coughs> instruction load R1 A. Then uh, add R1 B means R1 R1 plus M of B. Then we have to store C R1 means we have M of C in M of C we transfer the content of R1 and R1 has the content that is A plus B. If we talk about the register register means we if we want to perform the operation between register register then we have to take both the operands from uh, memory in our uh, processor register. So in this case first we uh, load A into R1 then load b into r2 then we uh, add instruction then add in add we have r3 r1 r r2 means we have r3 is a destination r1 plus r2 means r1 already is in r uh, a is already in r1 b is already in r2 if we perform r1 plus r2 then it means that it perform the A plus B operation and uh, our destination is R3. Then store C means what do you mean by store C? M of C in M of C we are going to store the value of R3 which contains the A plus B result. So this is the comparison of architecture with the help of an example. If you talk about the ISA, basically ISA means instruction set architecture. It is just like a contract between a programmer and compiler and hardware. So it is just like a contract between programmer and compiler. If you talk about the instruction cycle, the processing required for single instruction is called instruction cycle. And in instruction cycle, we have the basically three phases. Uh, first, we have to fetch the instruction from the memory. Then we have to uh, decode the instruction. In decoding, the role of uh, uh, basically control unit is on, and the control unit generate the control signal on the basis of instruction. Then we have to uh, store the result in either in memory or in register. These are the uh, instruction cycle diagram in which we can see that we have to start the procedure and first step is fetch the next instruction that is to be executed. So in instruction cycle first step is this means fetch the instruction is the first step. Then next is execution execute instruction this is the second we can say that this is a second step or we can also say that this is a third step and in between fetch and execute there is a step for decoding in decoding we have uh, the control unit generate the control signal for the execution of the particular instruction and also also in decoding we have to fetch the operands from the memory location uh, to perform the operation. 
so we can say that there is a three major part of the instruction cycle uh, first is fetch the instruction second is decode the instruction and third is execute the instruction when we execute the instruction then next instruction that are going to be fetched so instruction cycle is work in this way we have to fetch the instruction we have to decode the instruction we have to execute the instruction and the, if the execution is finished then we have to fetch the next instruction that is to be executed <coughs> If we talk about the instruction format, instruction length needs to be in multiple of byte. Basically, this is the important line. Instruction length is needs to be of multiple of bytes. And instruction encoding can be of variable or fixed. We can say that instruction uh, format uh, may be uh, fixed of fixed length or variable length. If we uh, take the example here, we can say that one instruction is of 8 bit, another instruction is stored in byte addressable memory, here two instructions, uh, these are the instruction and is of 16 bit and here these instructions are 32 bit. So instruction uh, encoding can be a variable or fixed. If we talk about the instruction format, in instruction format, most common fields are opcode in which we have to know the operation to be performed, mode, how to fetch the operands from the memory or registers and what is the effective address that is uh, to be known from the address. Here an operation code field that specify the operation to be performed an address field that designate a memory uh, address or a processor register and mode field specify the way the operand or uh, or the effective address is determined. If we talk about the instruction format, these are the basically depend on the CPU organization and the CPU organization here we have a uh, three CPU organization first is uh, single accumulator organization and next is general per general register organization and third is stack organization these are the uh, uh, computer types and the instruction format is dependent on the instruction type if we talk about the general register organization in this we have a three in three address instruction and a two address instruction in general register organization if we talk about the example of uh, three address instruction, here we have a add instruction and R1, R2, R3, these are the registers and we have to perform R1 plus R2 and we have to store the result in R1. So basically here R1 is a destination, R2 is a source and R3 is a source. So in this we have uh, used three address basically we have used three address and both uh, all the three addresses are of the registers that is register r1 r2 and r3 and register r1 is act as a destination and r2 r3 as a source if we talk about the two address instruction in two address instruction the ad in instruction address should be only two so here in this instruction we can see that we have a add opcode add and uh, we use the two addresses and uh, these these two addresses are of the register that is r1 and r2 here we can uh, see that r1 act as a destination public source and r2 as a source so here we can uh, add r1 plus r2 and store the result in r1 <clears throat> if we 
if we talk about the general uh, single accumulator organization that is also called one address instruction in this we have to remember one point that is the uh, first operand always stored in accumulator and second operand uh, should be in uh, memory so here example of one address instruction format or we can say that single accumulator organization if we talk about the add x to what do you mean by add x in single accumulator uh, it means that we have to perform this operation that is ac tends to ac plus m of x means content of x is added into the accumulator register and the result is stored in accumulator so in this scenario we have to remember uh, one most important point that is first operand always stored in accumulator and second operand uh, should be in memory if we talk about the stack organization if we call the stack organization that is a zero address instruction and in stack we have uh, only two uh, basically for push for inserting and deleting the item from the stack we use push and pop so here we use push x means we have to uh, place the content means we have to place the content on the top of the stack that is m of x in some books we have uh, only x we use only x so push x means we have to store the x on the top of the stack and we have on another operation that is also called pop we also use pop pop means deleting the item from the stack and pop if we write pop x then what do you mean by pop x pop x means we have to place the content of the top of the stack on the m of x this is the pop x and one interesting point about the zero address instruction is that uh, here in push or pop operation in push or pop operation we are using one address so why we call this zero address instruction because of the operation type instruction in operation type instruction we have to simply write the operation code means we have to mention add subtract multiply divide and we uh, we should not give uh, any uh, address where to add where to store the result uh, so in operation type instruction we don't use any address or uh, so basically in stack the operation is performed on the top of the stack and result is also stored on the top of the stack so here we do not mention any address in this operation type instruction so it is called as zero address instruction this is the very important point of the stack organization this is the general example for uh, our three com type computers that means x equal to a plus b and c plus into c plus d <coughs> then if we talk about the we have to perform the three address instruction if we if we have the this expression x equal to a plus b into c plus d these are the arithmetic expression and we have to write the three address instruction for this expression we have to write three two address instruction for this instruction and we have to write 0 1 2 and 3 so first we write the three address instruction for this arithmetic expression so we have to know the rule of board mass and uh, we solve this through the board mass rule so for this we have to first solve uh, this part bracket part and we have to solve this part first 
so we have to solve a p a plus b first then we have to solve c plus d then we have to multiply the a plus b into c plus d so in this way we are writing the three address instruction so we first take add op code means add operation and what are going to be in add we take r1 register and in r1 we have address a and b this means in r1 we are going to add m of a plus m of b it means a plus b is added and store the result in r1 similarly for c plus d we have to uh, take the operation code add and take one next another register that is r2 and uh, what are going to be add that is c and d so we mention c comma d means m of c plus m of d means c plus d is added and store the result in r2 so till this step our a plus b is performed and store the result in r1 and c plus d is performed and store the result in r2 after that we use the multiply op code means we have to perform the multiply operation and store the result in x because our destination is x so we take the ad address that is x and we have to multiply the content of r1 and r2 so here in m of x we are going to multiply r1 into r2 means if we perform the r1 and r2 at that means we have to perform a plus b into c plus d so in this way we have to write the code for the uh, this expression that is three address instruction so in next lecture we are going to discuss three two or zero address instruction thank you